Hello and welcome back to our sustainable journey. I am Steve. Today, let's uh, feed some worms in the big bins. All right, so this is one of the big bins. We'll feed one of them today. Um, remember, we took everything out of the CFTs. We put them into these for now until we can get a handle on these pests that are digging that we're digging through the CFTs. Um, hopefully, we got them all out of the barn here. But we've got some of the the bins are in here. Some of them are in the shed. Um, it's kind of chaotic right now. So the problem with these big bins is, you know, you, your normal pocket feeding, right? So you'd put all your food in one corner. Um, or what have you doesn't really work because the worms, this is a lot of, this is a lot of surface area. This is, I think 250, 270 gallons worth of stuff. Um, and since we all kind of dumped the CFTs over into these, um, they could be anywhere. So, but they usually only live in the top six inches or so. So there's, you know, this is. 30 inches deep, I think. So you figure there's there's at least two feet. This is about six feet down. So it's about two feet worth of um, vermicompost being built up in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrape a little bit back, I think, and then I'll put the food in and, and rebury it and then hopefully they can find it. So we have one of our food scrap buckets so lots of food and then i have some of the leftover slum gum from the the hives um from when we rendered down all of the wax so i'll put some of those in there too and see how they like that all right so i don't know if you could tell but i've created a little crater here I'm just gonna pour a bucket in there. This is big enough. There's gonna be enough worms in there that they can handle this whole bucket. So. All right, so I get popcorn, potatoes, pomegranate, chips. This lovely bag that will break down. That is that. And then let me add, ooh, some falling. Let me add these guys. So this is the slum gum from the rendering of the beeswax. I don't know if I should spread this out. Maybe I'll spread this out so that it gets, they have a little bit of variety. So coffee grounds, quite the balanced meal. All right. Then they're gonna get some of these hunks. Sure, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Let me try and break these up. Oh, good, there's starting to mold. I left it out because I knew that I was gonna do this. So it's already gonna break down for me. Cool. All right, so then we'll cover it back up and uh, we'll see. How they like that. And actually, if you look, I mean, look at this stuff. This stuff is basically almost done. Um, it's so perfect looking. I could almost filter this or sift this now. Um, but, oh well. And it's basically, stuff is, is honestly done looking. Looks like great compost, really. And there we go. So, now we wait. Um, I also wanted to show you... Last time we were with the worms, so that was two or three videos ago, I think. We put some of the slum gum, if I remember correctly, under here. And so you can see they are 
this is all that's left. And you can also see that the worms are absolutely devouring it. Um, and there's a ton more worms in this area from where it was at. So they've broken it down. You see the little wax particles. But again, all natural anyway. It's just bee parts. But they're loving it. So that's very encouraging. So cover them back up and leave them back to their lives. And for those of you just starting out, worm, whoops, ooh, worms will explore. Oh my gosh, I got you all dusty. I'm sorry, bud. Um, they will climb up the tops of a bin. That is completely normal. Basically, uh, they're like kids. Right, they're all up on the sides, but they're also in here, you know, like you can, this is like totally done bin, I should sift this out too, but they're exploring, they're, they're going everywhere into this bin, um, looking for fun and food, so, and a mate, but yeah, this is, this is basically, this is all finished castings for sure. Let me see. There's your Starbucks cups. That's what's left of them. It's that liner. God, same with this one. Yeah. So we've got some sprouts growing from something we fed them. Maybe old pumpkin seeds. I don't know if there's still pumpkin seeds growing. Maybe that's a pumpkin seed. I don't know. But yeah. This stuff is basically ready to be sifted. Maybe I'll do another sift video one of these days. It's tough because uh, in the winter time it gets a little cold. Um, so we're usually bundled up and want to get through it um, and don't necessarily want to be dealing with setting up camera and all that other stuff. Um, that coffee filter thingy still that might go in the hot compost at this point it's been in there for months just to see i think they, they ate through the top but they got everything they didn't get the filter so i'll have to pop that in the hot compost not sure what this is this looks like a piece of metal it's probably the top of something or something that got shredded that had metal in it well that'll get when we sift that'll get pulled out with the magnets but yeah, this is basically some finished compost. Oh, it's a little dry in the middle. That's interesting. It's probably where it was when it was on the heat mat. It dried out. The rest of this is nice and moist feeling. This feels perfect. Honestly, that's what you want your castings to look like when they're done. So this just needs to be sifted. And uh, we can pull this experimental bin out of rotation and uh, start a new one. We'll come up with uh, let me let me know some ideas on what we can do to to see what they'll they'll eat. All right. So yeah, they're all in that corner. The one that's still I don't remember how many we put in here. Probably five hundred, maybe a half a pound. Well, they seem to be doing well. Every time I, I grab a handful, there's, there's worms. And these guys. We're in the egg song. But it's raining today, so a lot of them are hanging out inside. So. Um, and to update you guys on the maple syrup. Uh, we have 25 gallons so far. It's been a week, um, and we're into the flow now. So we're getting about five. We're getting about five gallons a day. Um, so we'll probably do a video either next week or the following week, showing you the um, the process of boiling down the sap to make the syrup. So with 25 gallons, that should net us roughly. 
half to three quarters of a gallon of syrup. Um, and we've only been going like a week or two. So there's going to be a lot of sap and there's going to be a lot of syrup. So we'll show you that once we um, get that all going. So thanks for checking us out today. Um, like, subscribe, comment, and we'll we'll keep her going. All right. Take care, everybody. So you're thinking to yourself, what is up with the walls of this barn? It's all cobwebs. It's dust from those guys. Actually, here's the old CFTs that we pulled apart. Um, they're actually in good shape. But this is all just cobwebs. It's not real spiders. It's just dust that gets stuck in the air um, and clings. And then it forms a, a, a string. It's crazy because of the, the dust baths that the chickens take um, in here. We tried putting these sheets up, but to try and keep some of the dust down, but it doesn't always work. So chickens, crazy dusty. Like, look at the look at the ceiling in there from them. They're just, it's nuts. So every few months, we'll take. Well, you see, we have all these brooms. We take all these brooms, uh, and we knock down all the cobwebs. But after a few months, they come back because they. They get dusty because you can tell there's no spiders in here. I mean, there occasionally we'll get some, but um, there aren't any now. So, yeah, cobwebs, crazy. We should host like a, a Halloween event in here because it looks like we'd have a ton of spiders, but there aren't any. It's just the way the dust works with them taking their dust baths.